Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for September 14th through the 17th, Monday through Thursday, for my Libras. How are you, my passionate Libras? I hope it's a wonderful weekend for you. Anyway, you know that I'm using my two Radley Valentine decks. I'm using my Archangel Power Tarot cards for the main message. Get out there. There we go. And then I will pull one from my Angel Tarot cards. I've prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy. Remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. New moon on the 17th. It is in Virgo. I'm really feeling this is all about taking care of yourself. And tie I feel for you it's tying up loose ends. Tying loose up loose tying up loose ends, both emotionally, physically, spiritually, but also financially. I'm really feeling a big strong financial vibe with this new moon. Remember, full moon to new moon as it gets smaller, it's waning. You get rid of things. New moon to full moon, as it gets bigger, it's waxing, you ask. So there's a little bit of get rid of request, okay? I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself up to higher power. Whatever the message is, I don't have to understand it. I just have to deliver it to whoever needed to hear it. Three cards are face down. The first two are reversed. Strong energy. So let's see what we have for my Libras for Monday through Thursday. First card, again, reversed. Here we are, the Ten of Ariel. Now, I'm feeling like there that you're looking to do some things to your house. Aerial energy is earth energy. It is our Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, um, solid something, someone you can touch, but and money energy, money that um, you know comes from your job. But I'm also I'm feeling a lot of home house improvement. But you know the house in itself could be any of those relationships. It could be your work, job, career. It could be personal, intimate, interpersonal. It could be family or your home. But I'm feeling like you're, I'm feeling very much your home, but that could be your work home also. But I'm feeling like some transitioning, some changes, some cleaning up, some getting things together. I'm feeling like, um, you know, maybe you're getting ready to possibly remodel. Maybe you're getting ready to possibly move. Maybe you're getting ready to purchase it. But I'm feeling like some major changes within your home energy. Okay, and it could be any of the other ones that I'm talking about too. So your home could be your work home too. You know, so maybe you're thinking, maybe you've worked many years at some place and you're thinking of retiring. But I'm feeling major change energy. Tens have a transitional energy, so it's like leaving something to go to something new. And it, you know, I'm not think I'm not necessarily thinking that it's a total um a total um change per se uh, you know it could but i i really feel like it's a revamp a refresh and major major energy in your home major revamp refresh changes for home okay anyway there is so very much to be grateful for financial success and the promise of retirement a rich and rewarding family life this one is also reversed here we are the knight of raphael there's a commitment coming to you. There is somebody that wants you to commit to something, okay? So if this is if this is your job, well, if it's any of those three, it's kind of like if it's your job, they want to say, hey, I want you to commit to, you know, six months. I want you to commit to three years. I want you to sign a contract to commit. Um, it could be a personal commitment. It could be an engagement, a marriage. It could be a commitment or you could be asking somebody to commit. Maybe there's been somebody in your life that's been kind of, uh, you know, they're loosey-goosey a little bit. They're kind of going their own way. And you want a commitment from them. Because it seems, I do feel like it's, you know, it, it does feel like it seems that you enter, I kind of feel like a contract. Now, it could be verbal, emotional, it could be, but I feel like you enter a contract and you then say, yes, I will, I will fulfill my part of the contract. But whoever you enter it with doesn't always do this. And it's the same person. It's doing the same thing over and over again. It's the same person. And they don't fulfill their part of the contract. Now, it doesn't have to be a legal contract. It could just be, you know, talking to your significant other and saying, 
okay, you know, hey, why don't we start saving for a trip? Why don't we start saving for retirement? Why don't we start saving for whatever that house is? Okay, you know, let's cut out the lunches. And then you find out the other one's going out to lunches. You know what I mean? So it's like you're doing your part. And I think it's you doing your part. And the other isn't. Or it's vice versa. But somebody's not quite. And you're asking for a commitment. Or somebody's asking you for that commitment. Anyway, Raphael is water energy. Fluid, emotional, very spiritual energy too. You know, I feel like there's a real, like I said, this commitment, it's really very, very important to you. It may not be so important to the other person, and the other person may not see why you're so invested in this commitment. But it's kind of like, you know, if they don't commit on the small things or if they don't follow through on the small things, how can you expect them to follow through on the bigger things? So this is Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer energy. Okay, romantic, dramatic, poetic introspective committed romantic relationships being swept off your feet situations or topics that make your heart flutter i like that one last card up is the eight of ariel again your aerial energy your earth energy your solid energy so and this is you you know this is you you know tying up those loose ends tie you know making sure that you know, if this is if this was a home, this is your life, but if this was a home, you're making sure that the furniture's polished, the carpets are 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 vacuumed, the floors are swept, the dishes are done. You're making sure that everything is spit spot and in place. You know, that when you open it up, it's like, no, I have everything in place. Now again, I'm likening my example is a home because that's kind of where I'm feeling this. But it doesn't mean that it has to be in your home. It could be in your personal. It could be in your car, for goodness sake. Okay? But eights, eights are kind of like, you know, this. there's kind of like a springboard action with eights. And it's like any po anything is possible with eights. Okay. Take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. So with this, whatever this is that you're looking for, whatever this commitment is, whatever this is you're doing with your home, you do need to investigate a little bit more. And, you know, I kind of feel like you're going on the Internet. So if, it, if you were to, if you're selling your home, then, you know, go do, you know, the Internet will show you what, you know, how much to ask for it. And if you're buying a home, the Internet will show you also, you know, what the houses in the neighborhood should go to. So I feel like there might be, you might need to do a little investigatory work. And the thing is with my Libras, you do know how to investigate. You are good investigators. So, so you've got a lot going on. You've got a whole lot of energy going on Monday through Thursday. Your last card, face down, not reversed. Here we are. The Ace of Earth. Again, that Earth energy. Again, and Aces has this new start energy to it. So whatever you're getting ready, it's so that you can start on that next. Again, so maybe that's why you're tying up all these loose ends. You're tying them, you know, you're making sure that everything's in its place because you want to start something new. You want to start something new. You either want that new home, but it could be that, but this could be that new career opportunity also. And maybe this is where they're going to be asking you for that commitment. Okay. So, the inflow of abundance, like that. A promising business venture, important documents or contracts. And whenever you have that type of energy, you know, contracts, I say, get another pair of eyes to read over, okay? You're good, my Libras, you're good, but it doesn't hurt to have another pair of eyes, okay? So, my Libras, remember the button down there. Please like, please share, please subscribe. I really do appreciate you watching. And my Libras, as always, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.